bonjour and welcome to this fantastic tutorial in canva today we are going to be creating something very interesting okay and i designed this in canva some few minutes ago and i was just thinking to myself well i think it would be very good if you know i just make a tutorial to teach you how i was able to do this in canva and this isn't complex we are just going to be implementing some few tips and tricks in this design and uh, after you know by the end sorry by the end of this video i believe you would be able to design this inside of canvas so you know before we get started let me just roll the intro okay so here we are in canva okay and the first thing i am going to do is to click on create a design and like always i always like always i you know like that was some kind of like a rhyme like always uh, and anyway let me just um dive straight into it so i would click on 1080 by 1350 you can go for any um dimension you want okay but that's what i wanted to go for and i already have the car uploaded in my canvas so this is what you can do you can go to pngguru.com okay and now they updated their website so the new um the new link is clip at okay so clip at but if you type pngguru.com it will still redirect you to clip at and um, i don't know how the redirection it's some sort of website kind of like thing then you only have to search for car okay so once you search okay so this is the one i use but there's several cars we have on there so you can choose anyone and um yes you should find your dream car and once you find your dream car just import it into canva then you select your car so now i have selected my car and i now have my car here in canva so i increase the size and the first thing i'm going to do is to go into my photos and i'll search for skyscrapers okay so with this i'll get interesting um photos of skyscrapers so i'll select this one even though it wasn't the same one i used in my initial design okay so i increase the size okay and just enlarge it a little bit then i come into element and i select my square shape okay so i just rotate it you know to 25 okay 25 degrees i pull it down and i just make it very interesting okay then i duplicate so i right click copy and right click paste okay so just we have another duplicate so now this is what we have okay so i select the first shape and i change the color to white select this and change the color also to white and i right click send to back okay send to back right click send to back and before i send my image to the back what i'm going to do is to add another shape and i would do this okay just to place it right on top and change the color to any color that matches with my car so you can see canva has already suggested some colors for us so i'll choose the red come into the transparency and reduce the size okay so once i do that i'll just have to um right click send to back right click on the image and send it to back so this is what we would have okay but i don't want any part of the image to be shown so i can just cover it with my car then the next thing i'm going to do like i always do is to add this half tube thing okay and it's already um picked the color i wanted to go for which is the red because i want to match everything with um you know i want my colors to look anyway you know what i mean okay so i would rotate okay i duplicated and rotated and i select all and group so that it becomes one element then i center this and add my almighty text okay so to do that you have to click on this okay the text and you add your text or you can press t on your keyboard to add text and i'll just say um i'll just use the same text i use initially so get um the best deal 
because when you're buying a car normally you need to go for the best deal because you know you wouldn't want to spend a whole lot and realize you could get it at a cheaper price you know the same quality somewhere else so yes and i was select ones that extra bold and um reduce the size not the size yeah but the size <laughs> okay then the next thing i'm going to do is to add some dummy text so i just would copy my dummy text and paste it right here on this design so that i can have something like this then the next thing i went or i did was i just searched for car logo okay in my element so i found this and then um, i'll just bring it here and change the green color to red so that no we are just sticking to the brand okay so then i add um this name i came up with auto mesh mesh or i don't know what it means but you know just be creative sometimes and come up with your own brand car brand names okay so um the next thing i want to do is add another shape which of the same red color okay and i would bring it to the down and let's say we wanted to add social media icons what can we do so what we can do now is to come here and search for facebook okay so i select my facebook and i change the color to red okay i change the color to red and i reduce the size and i pull it down then I go back into my element and search for Instagram. Okay, so let's say we will, we only have um, Facebook and Instagram account. This is what we can do. But if you have over ten social media accounts like myself, then you can, um, you know, use all of them. You can align all of them like you are aligning uh, your bed. No, not your bed, but aligning something look anyway that's just by the way so this is what we have unless i wanted to go crazy a little bit what i can do is to have my ship i chose 20 i think 5 degrees right yeah 25 so i can put this one here and reduce the size very low okay and i was i'll just send it back so i select and send it back you know, so select come to position and send backwards okay yeah so you can see what we are creating and i can do the same um, over here okay so this is just if you want to add a little bit of flare or uh, whatever it is to your design i guess okay so now bring forward 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 yes so we have this which I think is looking very interesting. Okay, so yes, this is how I created it in Canva, and you realize I literally have spent like eight minutes, you know. And if I wasn't talking, I'm sure it would be less than that. Okay, so the name has always been Benjamin, and you, you know, you can check me out on Instagram at African Geeks. And if you loved this video or this tutorial, and you want to see more of tutorials like this i would highly recommend you subscribe and you also like just to show your love and your support and like i was saying the name has always been benjamin and i will personally see you in my next tutorial